8.4 example problem. We've got a medical research team conducted a study to test the effects of cholesterol reducing medication. At the end of the study, the researchers found that 4,700 randomly selected subjects who took the medication, 301 died of a heart disease. Now, 4,300 were randomly selected and they took a placebo and 357 of those died from heart disease. Remember, placebo is like a fake drug. It's a sugar pill, all right? So um, at 0.01 alpha, can you support the claim that the death rates due to heart disease is lower for those that took the medication, all right? So they're claiming that their drug is going to reduce the death rate of people versus not taking their medication on um, heart disease, okay? So cholesterol, high cholesterol leads to all sorts of problems. Here are the important numbers for us. So we're going to take this information. What we're doing, we're, we're comparing two proportions, all right? A proportion from one population, a population who took the drug, versus a proportion of another population who did not take the drug but took a placebo. Both are random samples. They're independent of each other. If you took the placebo, you didn't take the drug, and if you took the drug, you didn't take the placebo. All right? What we need to calculate, we need to find N1, N2. We need to figure out what um, X1 is, X2 is. We need to do um, P1 hat, P2 hat. So let's just start there, see if we can work through this problem. All right, so the first population, the ones that took the drug, all right, the medication, there were 4,700 total and 301 died. So in one, we had 4,700 total and then X1 equal to successes, 301 died. I know it's weird to think about a death as a success, but the success, I know it has a, con a positive connotation to the word, but um, we're talking about you know which ones that it actually killed here. So in reality, success may not be a good thing, right? Now, um, to get p hat 1, we take x1 over n1, the proportion of successes, so that's 301 over 4,700. Okay, if I type this in my calculator, I'm going to get to four decimals, 0640, All right? For the other one, the placebo, 4,300 took the placebo and 357 died. So 4,300 took the placebo and 357 died. So X2 over N2 is P hat 2, which is 357 over 4,300. Four decimals is going to be 0830. All right. Now we need to figure out what P bar is and then we can get Q bar. It's all the successes, all the deaths over all the people in the study, okay? So what is that? That's gonna be 301 plus 357 over 4700 plus 4300, okay? When I type that in my calculator, I'm gonna get 0.0731, so P bar is this. Q bar is 1 minus 0.0731, which is 0.9269. So I need to make sure N1 P bar, N1 Q bar, N2 P bar, and N2 Q bar are greater than or equal to zero, I'm sorry, greater than or equal to five. And guess what, with 4,700, when I multiply even a percent as small as 7%, 4,700 and 4,300, that number's definitely gonna be greater than or equal to five. So we're good to go here. 
we can use our two sample Z test for the difference between proportions. So let's set up our ho and our ha. So the ho and the ha, what is the claim? The claim, okay, can I support the claim that the death rate for heart disease is lower for those who took the medication for those, than for those who didn't take it, okay? So P1 is going to represent, P1 will represent um, those who, let's say, uh, took the medication, okay? P2 is going to be the placebo, all right? Per percentage of your death rate, okay? So what do we want? We want the medication percentage to be less than the death rate of the placebo, okay? If the placebo and the medication had about the same death rate, then what's the point in taking the medication if it had the same effects as taking no medication at all? Okay, so this is the claim. We want to show that we lowered the death rate, okay? So that's my claim. It's the ha because there's no equals. Now what type of test is it? It's a left tail test, okay? And so the opposite of this is P1 greater than or equal to P2, okay? So the death rate due to heart disease is lower for those who took the meds versus those who took the placebo. That's what we're trying to prove here. That's the claim. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna run through our test. Z equals P1 hat minus P2 hat, and then minus P1 minus P2, but what do we know about this? This thing is going to zero. In the hoe, we assume that there's no difference. So I have P bar, Q bar, and one over N1 plus one over N2. And so this is gonna be point O six four O minus point O eight three O over square root point O seven three one times point nine two six nine times one over forty seven hundred plus one over forty three hundred. And when I type this in my calculator, I'm gonna get negative 3.46, okay? Now, I need to do my critical values. It's a left tail test. So alpha is equal to 0.01. Um, so that means what? That means I want a left tail area Shade to the left, alpha 0.01. I go look it up. That's a Z naught critical value of negative 2.33. If you go look up 0.0100, there you go. What's my standardized test statistic? It falls over here at Z, and my Z here, let me move this out of the way okay this is negative 3.46 so that gives me something that's in the rejection region so i reject the hoe since my z value that i found is less than the negative 2.33 critical value All right it's a left tail test so that means there is enough evidence at alpha equal to 0 0.01 to support 
Why is it support? Because the ha is the claim. Why is it, I use the word is because I said reject here. To support the claim that the death rate due to heart disease is lower for those who took the medication than for those who took the placebo. Okay. All right, guys, that finishes this video. I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of the whole problem, so maybe that will help you out. All right, good luck.